Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Sean, aka Comet. I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on the basics of orbiting. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the just regular circles. doesn't seem that hard, but there is a few tricks to it that will make it a lot easier for you. I'm going to show you how to create and maintain tension in the orbit. You should be able to just keep doing this pretty much forever. I'm also going to show you how to make flowers. And then I'm also going to show you how to make stars. Let's get started. The big circle is obviously the first thing that you're going to want to learn how to do when you're learning how to orbit. It's really just throwing the orbit in a circle, letting its own weight carry it around into that circle. Um, most of your energy should be coming from your wrist for this. You don't want to be moving your forearm around a lot. Pretty much small movements is the name of the game when it comes to orbiting. Just small movements will keep that circle going. Don't need to be big and dramatic movements to keep that going. Now, take a look here. Most of it's being done with my wrist, not so much my forearm. And then, once you start to feel the tension building up in your strings, once, you start, once it starts to feel tighter, you can pull in both directions, and you're going to get that tension that you're looking for. Now, with the tension, a huge mistake that people see, I see people make all the time, is they think they've got to just do this with it. That it's going to take a huge amount of motion to get this thing to continue spinning. That is not the case. If you see my hands here, they're barely moving at all. It's very, very little motion at all that's keeping this thing going. That's going to save you energy so that you don't get tired out too quick. It's also going to make your spins look much cleaner because you're not moving all over the place to create them. Again, you can see not a whole lot of movement in my hands to keep this going. It's very simple, very light, very subtle movements will keep this thing spinning forever. Once you have the tension built up, you can start trying things like flowers. Now the way that I like to explain this is you can see how the orbit will stop and reverse direction once it's reached that point in tension. What I like to do is once it reaches that final point in tension, I throw it into a larger circle in the same direction that it was already moving. So, let's try that again. Stops and goes back, stops and goes back, stops, throw it, and you get the flower. For the star, it's actually a little bit easier than that for me. Um, I know there's a bunch of different ways to make the star, this is just the easiest way for me to explain it and the way that I like to do it most. So, once you get for the star, once you start getting these big spins going, once you start to feel that tension build up, instead of pulling to make tension, lightly pull out, and that's going to get you your star. The more tension you have and the slower you pull away, the longer your star is going to last. So you get a lot of tension and then you start to pull away very lightly, that star is going to go on for quite a while. So yeah, hope that was helpful guys. Um, again, these are basic concepts. Everyone's going to have different ways of doing these. These are just the ways that I do them. And they should be able to provide you at least a little bit of a springboard for you to start figuring out the best way for you to do them. Hope this was helpful. Have a good day everybody.